In this lecture, let's see how we can make dart stick to the board. The main idea, we will attach a collider to the dart board and one collider will be in front of the dart. We will throw a dart on the board and at the moment when both collider will collide with each other, we will capture that event using the collider triggers. When the user will tap on the dart, we will activate the front collider and will add the force in the dart to move. And we will also have a collider on the board. In this lecture, we will be adding a box collider. Here we are attaching a box collider to the dartboard and rescaling it for the best fit. As you know, box collider is not the very accurate option for our circular dartboard. But for now, we can start with it. For more accurate results in the next lecture, we will use the mesh colliders. As you can see, box collider has exposed properties to rescale and reposition the collider. I think it looks better now. Next, we need to modify the dart grip and for that we will be using our own trigger enter method. I will also be sharing the link for detailed documentation. Open up the dart script and add a boolean. Is dart hit on board and by default make it false. If dart hits the board within 5 seconds, then don't come in this condition to destroy the dart because it's on the board. And we will make is dart hit on board is equal to true when it will hit the board. On trigger enter will check if the dart hits the board. It will check by comparing the tag of the collider. And we will access the rigid body kinematic and make it is equal to true. And it will stop all the physics. That's it for this functionality. Have a look at this script. As you can see, Dart is sticking to the board. It will not be a much accurate because we are using a box glider. But our functionality is working. In the next video, we will optimize this by using a mesh gliders. You are doing a great job. See you in the next lecture.